Um, and thanks, Minister, uh, for taking this, um, this, this commencement debate. Uh, you will have seen re recent uh, coverage uh, in media about issues relating to boom time constructions. Um, I have been dealing with a, a bunch of uh, a group of residents in the Balmain area, uh, very reluctant to name areas because of the, the reputational damage that can happen, but unfortunately we're at the stage now where it's, it's in media circles and it's, it's time for action. Uh, the Irish Times report um, only this week spoke about um, apartments in Clongriffin, apartment owners facing a bill of 826,000 to remedy serious fire safety issues found at their block. Residents have been told the fire would not be contained within any compartment of the building for more than 30 minutes rather than to require 60 minutes and owners will have to pay between 4,246,000 euro uh, and 6,676 4,246 euro, 6,676 euro per apartment to remedy defects. Uh, a letter recently circulated as a result of a public meeting which I organised and my colleague Shane Folan organised uh, in Belmain that was sent by the management company to residents uh, outlined that they were due to proceed with an immediate, immediate fire safety inspection and it was their intention to complete, complete a further survey of the balconies which are defective and that they have accepted are defective uh, to identify what further repair work is required. Now, uh, Minister, what these residents want to know is who is on their side. If there is any amount of overlapping interests between management companies and developers and Dublin City Council and the fire officer. What they want to know is, is, is the government on their side. Um, the Society of Chartered Surveyors are suggesting that an emergency fund from government be established in order to assist uh, residents. I would uh, assume you would agree with me that if I uh, was the owner of an apartment which was then proven to be defective, uh, that I shouldn't be out of pocket. Some of these residents have already uh, had to uh, dish out 3,000 euro in order to find out if, they, if their uh, apartments were uh, suffering from, from, um, from pyrite. Uh, uh, as well. So what we're dealing with here are uh, residents who are victims of, uh, of boom time construction which has been proven to be defective. Uh, what they want to know from government, are government going to uh, be on their side? Are they going to advocate for them? Uh, or are government uh, going to wash their hands of this? I do recall at the time of the Priory Hall is issue um, that uh, the former leader of the Labour Party, Eamon Gilmore, uh, was somebody who was absolutely proactive to, to, to talk and meet with residents, to talk and meet with anybody who could find a solution to that situation, and we eventually did find uh, a solution to that situation, not without a huge amount of, uh, of hurt, of upset, and one man actually was driven to take his own life at that time. So I met with residents uh, repeatedly in, in this area. They are under understandable amount of, of, of stress. Uh, they, they wish and they hope uh, that you can assist them in providing uh, some uh, support, uh, as I say, to be on their side. And I'm, uh, I'm interested to hear what you feel in relation to the Society of Charters' severe suggestion that an emergency fund could be established by government in order to assist residents who are out of pocket and living in uh, apartments which are clearly not, not safe uh, and, uh, and none of it is, is down to their own, uh, uh, none of it, as I say, is, is their own fault. It is the fault uh, of somebody else. Um, so I'll be, I'll be interested to hear your response.